Now we will move on to some photographs of the individuals that fought at the Little Bighorn. Uh, many of the individuals I have here were killed in the battle and are represented by the memorial stones that you just saw. But I do have photographs of individuals that also survived the battle. We will start off with the regimental commander. This is Brevet Major General Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer. He led his own battalion that day as well. This is First Lieutenant William Winter Cook, the regimental adjutant. He wrote out the uh, famous final written message. Next up is First Lieutenant George Edwin Lord, the regimental surgeon. He was sick on the day of the battle and offered a chance to stay behind with the pack train. He declined the offer, rode with Custer, and was killed with him. This is Henry Ronaldo Porter, the civilian surgeon that survived the battle and uh, saved a lot of lives up on Reno Hill. This is James Madison DeWolf. He's another civilian surgeon. He was killed during the Reno retreat, so they did not have his services on Reno Hill. Here is Major Marcus Albert Reno, commanding a battalion that day, attacked the southern end of the Indian village, was routed and retreated to the hill, and that now bears his name. And this is uh, Second Lieutenant Benjamin Hubert Hodgson of Company B. He was attached to Reno to be his adjutant, left in the woods, and was killed on the retreat. This is Second Lieutenant Charles Albert Varnum of Company A. He's been detached, and he is commanding a part of the Indian Scout Detachment on the day of the battle. And helping him is Second Lieutenant Luther Rector Hare of Company K, also detached, and commanding a portion of the Indian Scouts. Up next, we have the 27-year-old youngest Custer brother. This is Boston Custer, a civilian, riding with headquarters on the day of the battle. Was killed with George and Tom. And this is the 19-year-old nephew, Harry Armstrong Reed. He uh, likewise was killed with his uncles uh, at the Battle of the Little Bighorn. This is civilian guide George Herring Dean. He actually survived the battle. He was left in the timber during the Reno fight. Uh, managed to make it up to Reno Hill later on. Another civilian, a guide, Charles Alexander Reynolds. He was not so fortunate. He was killed during the Reno retreat. This is a civilian newspaper correspondent from the Bismarck Tribune. It's uh, Marcus Henry Kellogg. He was riding with Custer and with headquarters. He was killed with him. As was Mitch Boyer, the Crow Scout interpreter. He rode with Custer in headquarters. He was killed on the South Skirmish Line. This is Frederick Girard, another guide, or tracker. He uh, fought with Reno, actually survived. He was left in the woods as well, but he made it up to Reno Hill later on. This is Bloody Knife, Custer's uh, favorite scout. He was a civilian. Uh, Bloody Knife was killed in the timber fight. And this is Daniel Knipe. He's a sergeant from Company C, the first courier that Custer sent back. He sent him back to the pack train. Uh, Knipe would survive the battle. And this is Giovanni Martini, the trumpeter from Company H. He was uh, another courier that Custer had sent back. He was sent back with the written message. This is the Company A commander. This is Captain Miles Moylan. Fought in the timber, fought in the valley, fought up on Reno Hill, survived the battle. This is First Lieutenant Charles Camelus de Rudio, the executive officer of Company A. Likewise, fought in the valley, fought up on Reno Hill, and survived. This is Thomas Moore McDougall, the captain of Company B. He actually was escorting the pack train on the day of the battle, fought on Reno Hill, and survived. Here is uh, Captain Thomas Ward Custer, the Company C commander, but he was attached to headquarters as aide de camp to his brother. Thomas was killed on Custer Hill. This is Henry Moore Harrington, the second lieutenant of Company C. He actually led the company in the absence of uh, Tom Custer. He was killed somewhere in the Keogh sector, I believe. This is Captain Thomas Benton Weir of Company D, and uh, he fought on Reno Hill. He was part of the Benteen Scout. This is second lieutenant Winfield Scott Edgerly, the executive officer of Company D. Fought on Reno Hill, survived the battle. Up next is first lieutenant... Algernon Emery Smith, commander of Company E. He uh, was with the Custer Battalion, and he was killed on Last Stand Hill. This is the executive officer of Company E. This is Second Lieutenant James Garland Sturgis. He was killed on the South Skirmish Line. Company F commander was George Wilhelmus Yates, a captain. 
He was killed on Last Stand Hill with Custer, rode with headquarters that day. And this is 2nd Lieutenant William Van Wick Riley of Company F, the executive officer. He likewise was riding next to headquarters. This is 1st Lieutenant Donald McIntosh, commander of Company G. He was killed during the Reno retreat from the timber. This is 2nd Lieutenant George Daniel Wallace, the executive officer of Company G and the acting engineering officer for the 7th Cavalry on the day of the battle. He was attached to headquarters, but Custer detached him, allowed him to go with Reno, and because of that move, Wallace survived the battle. This is Captain Frederick W. Benteen. He is the commander of Company H, also commanded his own battalion, rode during the scout, and also fought on Reno Hill. This is First Lieutenant Francis Marion Gibson, the executive officer of Company H. Likewise, fought on Reno Hill, survived the battle. This is the commander of Company I, Captain Miles Walter Keogh. He also commanded Custer's right wing. He was killed in the Keogh sector. This is First Lieutenant James Ezekiel Porter, executive officer for Company I, likewise killed in the Custer battle, most likely the Keogh sector. This is First Lieutenant Edward Settle Godfrey, commander of Company K. He was with Benteen on the scout, went to Reno Hill, fought there, survived the battle. This is uh, First Lieutenant James Calhoun. He is the Company L commander and brother-in-law of Tom, George, and Boston. He married Maggie Custer, killed on Calhoun Hill. And this is Second Lieutenant John Jordan Crittenden, the executive officer of Company L. He was likewise killed on Calhoun Hill. This is the Company M commander, Captain Thomas French. He was with Reno in the valley and fought on Reno Hill, survived the battle. And this is First Lieutenant Edward Gustave Matthew, the executive officer of Company M. He was actually detached and was commanding the pack train personnel and civilians on the day of the battle. And now we're going to move on to a very large detailed map showing the battle area between the Rosebud River Valley and the Little Bighorn River Valley.